Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Vintage Story Survival here. We are in my homestead. Our cabin here is expanded last episode. We expanded out that way. Uh, built a little bit of a blacksmith area. Still haven't come up with a ladder system or anything uh, uh, to get this going, but we'll figure it out because it's got to be multiple floors, and then uh, we'll do like a little tower at the top, uh, a little observation floor. I think that would look cool. And it's uh, going to line up with our garden here, so we'll be able to uh, build ourselves uh, storage underneath here. And yeah, I think it'll actually turn out pretty damn cool so uh we got two fires going on right now in these fires if we take a look uh we got a whole bunch of sticks being turned into torches so i'm gonna go we're gonna go deep into our mines today we're gonna go and try to find uh some damn ores we spent uh one and a half episodes here trying to find ore in one mine and just didn't come across any which kind of sucks so we're gonna go and uh give another mine a chance here we're gonna go up to this mine Right here, this one is actually right. No, this one right here. This cave. It's uh, close to that empty trader, so we kind of want to check that one out. It looks like it drops quite far. It's going to be pretty exciting, so hopefully we'll be uh, a lot luckier this time. Uh, we're going to bring two stacks of torches, so that way we can lay them down like crazy, and uh, we should be pretty safe. Uh, of course, we're going to bring uh, some food and stuff with us, and uh, just generally be prepared. So I'm going to put her around home. It is going to take a little while to make all of these torches here, so uh, we'll give it a little bit of time. Okay, and uh, we are done. We're going to grab our torches up here and uh, pretty much uh, run off. I'm also going to grab up some more food, too, just so we have a, a little more. There we go. Three bowls of food. Oh, and uh, one of them stacked. That was actually... Quite nice. We're going to take this out of my uh, inventory here. And our lantern, we're going to uh, switch out when we go. Okay, it's almost nighttime, so I kind of want to uh, boogie all the way up there. So let's uh, let's get going. <laughs> Damn it. I put it in the wrong slot. There we go. I think we can make it. If we're underground at night, doesn't really matter. We can do it. There we go. We'll leave that behind, too. I don't need that either. Here we go. We made it to the mine just in time for nightfall, too. Well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> that was horrible. All right, let's switch this out and uh, start placing down the torches here. Probably going to have to take on uh, a few of these guys right away. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's a torch from before. <laughs> I got chicken. I chickened out and didn't uh, go too far. So let's keep going here. Sounded pretty quiet, so I think we're going to be uh, relatively okay up in here. Uh, did I come through this whole way before? Oh yeah, this is where I came, and I, I think I came to here, and then that was about uh, that was about it. Oh damn it! The one thing I do need, guys, I need dirt. I gotta go out and uh, grab some dirt here before we go anywhere, because that's uh, I find the easiest way to get up and down in areas. All right, and here we go. So uh, this area here, did I make it all the way to the back? Actually, I think we did go back this way, and I found that it was uh, a dead end until. Uh, we went up this way a little bit, uh, a little bit further. Oh, that's right. We did explore in this way. Oh, damn. I thought we hadn't explored this one. Well, let's go try the other way, guys, and uh, see if we can't see if we can't find anything good over in the other direction. I, I don't think we went over that way. Maybe. Maybe that's what it was. Okay, so let's look over this way over here, and I don't really see any burnt out torches yet. So. Uh, we might be lucky. Hmm. Did we come down this way at all? Oh, it drops off, so no. Maybe we didn't. Maybe we didn't come down this way in the least a little bit. That's sick. Okay, so I'm going to uh, get rid of these water source blocks here. There we go. Hate those damn things. And uh, we'll make our way down. Oh, guys, check this out. So I've come up here, I found some quartz running along here, and uh, some rich zinc ore. So let's go give this a little bit of a hit here. Oh yeah, there we go, just like that. I don't think I found zinc yet, so that's 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 brand new. Uh, let's take a look at this here. Zinc ore, um, parent material claystone. <laughs> oh, this is phalerite, that's right, that's what this is here. So what we can really turn this into is uh, an alloy um, for um, zinc plates. So yeah, it's not really that useful to us. We're gonna we're gonna leave this behind here, 
And uh, I'm going to ignore it. Damn, it's a rich one, too. It's too bad it's not something we can use. Oh, we got a couple of these guys coming at us here. Come on, bros. What are these guys? Deep drifters already? Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, they're not too tough, though. We, we can... We can get this, there we go. Make that one angry, make him run away from us, and now we can uh, control the situation. There we go. He is down. We gotta uh, skin these guys too, because they give those little, uh, crazy little cogwheel thingies. Oh, look at this, it goes down even further. Hey, there's something down there. Oh, there's something cool looking down there. We'll have to check that out. Uh, where did it go? Looks like it actually ran off this edge down here. Uh, can we still traverse this rather safely? Ooh, damn. Like, what is this? This is so cool. I'm putting down way too many torches trying to see here. Uh, this is... Salt Peter. Oh, I think we can use this, actually, to, uh... Uh, to fertilize. Wow, what a drop this is, though. This is dangerous. Uh, what is the best way to tackle this thing? Because I don't think... Oh, I can put a block on the outside, but I think I end up destroying it. Can we do it by hand? Oh, yeah, we can do it by hand. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, I'll take some of this. Oh, damn. Okay, let's uh, let's check this stuff out. Oh, saltpeter is the ingredient for blasting powder. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's take a look. Blast powder. So for blasting powder, we're going to need saltpeter, sulfur chunk, which we have. We actually found some sulfur. And now all we have to do is find ourselves some black coal, too. And uh, we can make ourselves some blasting powder. What I believe that does is actually uh, blows out just ores and ores only for you. Uh, so it makes mining uh, a little bit easier. Uh, okay, so this stuff is uh, pretty crazy. We're going to have to remember that this is here. Uh, what's that down there? That it looks like it's a new block here to me. Ooh. Uh, this is... <laughs> this is sketchy, guys. Not really liking this, but... Uh, we'll figure this out. We don't even have that many dirt blocks either. This is this is very dangerous. Okay, so down here, uh, we got ourselves uh, some bauxite rock. Uh, that's kind of exciting. Oh, I should have brought my bow and arrow. Why did, why did I not uh, check that out? So I don't know what bauxite rock does other than maybe possibly being a different color. Uh, but I do need a, well, tier two, I guess that's, that's standard. So maybe it's just a different color block here. Let's open up my inventory. And if we hover over it, press H, it goes right to it in the handbook, which is pretty cool. Ingredient for a bauxite cobblestone slab. Oh yeah, that actually, that makes a really cool looking, uh, cobblestone. Oh, okay. You make it into a uh, stone pass and stuff. All right. Neat. Cool. Okay. Well, it's not really something we need, so I'm not going to uh, dwell on it too long here. Uh, let's brave ourselves by throwing down uh, a new torch. And, oh, did he die? Is he dead? Yeah, it's dead. It is dead as dinner. Dead uh, looks crushed. You won't be able to harvest much. Oh, so it died falling off the edge. <laughs> Stupid thing. Okay, let's uh, let's get this guy uh, harvested here. Uh, just some damn flax. <laughs> that's disappointing. Uh, but look at all the uh, the saltpeter over here. That's that's really neat. So this is on top of the granite rock too. So I wonder if each biome kind of has different layers of uh, rock to go along. And this is uh, this is really cool. And once again. We have reached a uh, dead end without finding any useful resources. So I'm thinking we should learn how to do prospecting, guys. I think prospecting is uh, our best option here to find any uh, really useful resources. Damn. But at least we have a place. Well, I guess if uh, we're going to dig down eventually, we're going to run into bauxite. But um, I don't know how feasible making a mine underneath my house is just because the amount of time that would take along with resources. Uh, just to knock out a whole bunch of these blocks, so uh, we'll have to look into it. But oh damn, I don't, I don't want to really take out much of the saltpeter either. It looks like the the block when you place it, uh, yeah, it destroys the saltpeter. So uh, we're not going to do that. Now I know uh, at least one place where we can come find this at least. Here we go. Uh, we're going to change this mine's name to uh, to saltpeter. We'll, we'll make this a saltpeter mine. There we go. Just enough, I think, to uh, get the heck out of here. Oh, how disappointing again. All 
All right, well, it's still the middle of the night here. I still have uh, some time to kill. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to head back. I think I found... Was it this way that I found it? I know I found some resources somewhere. Uh, here they are right here. There's that zinc ore that we uh, found. Uh, I think that was what we found originally. We're having a, a hard time going through. Oh my, look at that. Going all the way down there. Did we check down that way? Oh, we may not have, guys. Hmm. Okay. Well, we definitely need to go and check this out. Here we go. Throw some torches down. I may have not come down here because of the running water, actually. Ooh, did we just find... I'm glad I came up this way. Decided to come up and uh, check it out. Come up to me here, buddy. We can, we can hit you from here. There we go. I don't think they have a way up to me. No, they do not. But I want them to uh, get their butts up here. Uh, step, step, step. Hmm. Can we, uh, oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, that's what I want. Get up here. Come on. I just have to go up one more step, guys. You can do it. I believe in you. There you are. <laughs> you did it. Nope. Oh. I know as soon as I jump down there, we're going to have some troubles. Like, right away. So it does seem like if I leave them a step, they'll actually uh, track on over to me. Huh. Okay, so that guy is dead. Let's give him a harvest. <laughs> I can harvest him from here too, because that's cool. Boom. Okay, what about this other guy down here? Oh, damn it. Looks like we'll have to take him on uh, with our wit. Whoa, this area looks big down here. Okay, let's get him to come up here. There we go. You see a way, but you don't have a way. Ha <laughs> ha, there you go. You can't hit me, but I can hit you. Ah, oh, damn it. There we go. Let's uh, see if he comes back up this way. Oh, no, he won't because he's running away from us now. Okay, I hope this is... Oh, no, no, there he is. There he is. Come back to me, buddy. <laughs> this is kind of a derpy, but uh, somewhat efficient way of uh, getting this done. Here we go. And he's down for the count. Wow, look at this valley down here, guys. This this place is huge, and it sounds like these guys are all over the place down here, too. Uh, so let's run around a little bit. There we go. We got one guy over there. Yeah, we, we can take care of one guy here at a time. That's fine. It's just when we get more than one, uh, that's when we start really getting into trouble here. Okay, you, you keep running over that way, dude. I don't really care about you. You can you can fall off a cliff and die as far as I'm concerned. I can just have to keep an eye on my back here. There we go. Oh, what's down there? It looks like there's something down that way. Maybe we can check that out. Here we go. Got another drifter. Let's get up here. Keep an eye on our back just in case the other one somehow makes it back to us. Uh, this looks like it's something over oh. here, too, with the yellow in it. Uh, but that... Is apparently just sandstone rock, not not anything very exciting. Okay, so I really want to get down here. I want to see what this is. What is this? Is this zinc again? Better not be freaking zinc. What did we find? Oh, quartz. Okay, it's just quartz. Don't really need any quartz, so we're gonna uh, ignore that for now. Damn it. Uh, sometimes quartz has other minerals in it too, though, like gold and silver and whatnot. So. Um, I think quartz, once we uh, need it, will be a very valuable source for that. Okay, so we have another dead end over this way, and still no crazy good ores for us here. <laughs> We're having a hard time getting to the Iron Age over here. Uh, so I guess I'm going to uh, dig myself a little bit of a path over here. Oh, it looks like there's some more of that... Uh, um, what do you call that crap again? It's more of it over this way. There's a ton of it in these caves. Oh yeah, there's some more. Some more saltpeter, that's what it's called. Yeah, so I guess this, maybe it's not as uh, rare as I thought. So, uh, we'll have to note though, there's a lot of saltpeter in these caves. Very useful stuff. Okay, so this area down here goes a little deeper, and it looks like we can uh, 
safely jump through it, so uh, let's dive down here a little more. Oh, we have another drifter. Uh, let's see if we can't get to a better height to take him on here. There we go. Okay, come at me, drifter. Where are you at? You having a hard time tracking? Oh, there's two of them. Oh, there's three of them, damn it. Okay, let's, uh, let's... Oh, crap. I went the wrong way. Oh, no, guys. This might not turn out too well at all. Oh, okay, we gotta go over this way here. There we go. <laughs> there, let's see if we can't, uh... Beat them off there. Yeah, I always beat off the drifters. There we go. Bam! That's two beat off. Did we get more? Uh, there's a third one coming at us here. <laughs> yeah! There we go. A little bit of a corner, so it doesn't seem like they can actually jump to these corners. Oh, damn. Damn, 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 guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so we got some health back at least. Oh, another drifter down. <laughs> this is so intense. There's so many of them. Oh, my God. Look at them just flying around this corner over here. Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay, you bugger off. There we go. This one's just a surfer, surface drifter. We'll get rid of him here right away. Yeah, nice and easy. Look at all the drifters for us to harvest here. That's insane. Okay, let's take care of this guy so he doesn't come back for us. There we go. Yeah. Whew. Oh, damn. Still got one more. Yeah, you're stuck in a hole, you idiot. Holy crap, that was so many of them. <laughs> Good thing we have a lot of these bandages on us. That was sketchy. Oh, well, we got one, uh... One guy over here just kind of chilling out by himself. There we go. Is that the last one? No, I can still hear a few, so we're still in danger over here. Are they, like, just spawning in like crazy? Damn it, our sword is almost done for it, too. Ah, uh, damn it. Yeah, there's so many of them. Okay, so what we're going to do then, guys, is uh, we're going to head off, I think, back home again. And uh, come back here and prepare. So uh, there definitely is zinc over here for us to get. Uh oh, which way do we go here? Ah, up this way. <laughs> Mines are so confusing. And uh, we'll probably have to relight it, by the way, uh, by the time we come back here. But at least I know this is here, and we can go down very deep over here. We're just not really prepared for that um, at all. So is this thing still following me? There we go. I don't think he can get me now. Oh, he can, damn it. There we go. Run away, you fool. <laughs> okay, well, since we're here, we may as well not go back uh, home empty-handed and uh, grab up some of the sink ore. All right, there we go. It is the daytime, so it's a good time to come out. We really killed the uh, the night shift on that one, and uh, kind of glad I did. That was that was fun. Still no production though. Uh, we're gonna have to figure out, I think, how to. Um, how to use a prospecting uh, pickaxe. I might have to watch a video on that, actually. I, I, I tried reading it quickly, and I was like, whoa. So, <laughs> there's a lot of work to do. Uh, but we need a bunch of this cobblestone. So, I'm going to pound some of this down, and uh, we're going to bring some of it home. Oh, hey, look. I found a vessel that uh, I've never found before. I just opened it up here. What do we have? We have a forage vessel. Ah, oh, damn. Bunch of cattails and stuff. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I mean, the sticks are kind of cool, but I didn't want the other stuff. Let's go ahead and uh, toss this stuff off the ledge here. What did we get? We don't need that bauxite stone. Uh, we don't need the clay stone. We don't need the sticks. Well, we probably do, but I'll get rid of those. And uh, what else did we grab? Cattails. Ah, damn. I was hoping that would... Uh, too bad that wasn't a seed one. That would have been very useful. Well, so I took this chimney-looking thing down, and it's actually quite extensive. This place is huge. It's actually bigger than I thought it was. I wonder if I'm going to find another room or something in it. All right, here. I'm just hopping out of the hole. We've harvested this uh, this whole place and uh, almost ran through an entire pickaxe. Like I said, we got a good amount of copper now, so I'm not too worried about my copper pickaxes. But look at that. Look at the footprint this thing had. It even went back through, uh, through that way. So I'm pretty sure uh, we tore out every single block. So now... 
Oh, if we take a look on our map here. Yeah, it just shows a giant hole. <laughs> That's actually really cool. Okay, so let's go up to uh, these ones over here. And this is a good way, I guess, too, of ensuring that uh, I'm really not leaving anything behind. We need all this anyway. All right, and it looks like I got all of this up here for the for the most part. I don't really see any more uh, odds and ends. So we got that one out. That was really uh, a nothing burger. But uh, we also do have this over here, which uh, may possibly actually have uh, something underneath it. Oh, wow, look at that. Rabbit just delivered right to us for dinner. Nice. Okay, well... That's it. Pickaxe broke. Uh, I don't really have anything else to dig with. So let's take a look at my inventory here. We got one, two, three, four, almost five stacks of cobblestone. So that's good. We can finish the uh, the base to my house and make everything uh, look right proper. Whoa. Oh, he's ready to make. Oh, I thought he was dead. I was like, holy crap. How is that even possible? Okay, cool. So now, of course, we're going to have to go home. We're going to have to smelt some stuff up in our uh, new blacksmith here. Uh, make ourselves a uh, new longsword. We're going to need a uh, couple more pickaxes. So we're going to need 300 units of copper right there. And uh, that's the only things I think at the moment uh, that we really need to replace. So let's get my butt home here. It's probably going to become nighttime soon anyway. Oh, come on. Come on, chicken. Yeah, I got it. Sweet. Sick. Getting chicken meat's the best. Poultry is what they call it. All right, I got to check out the animal pit, of course, before I uh, go home. Sometimes there's animals in here. Oh, yeah, that's right. We didn't, uh, I don't think we grabbed the stuff from those bunnies the last time. There's just a little bunny massacre going on down there. Yeah, don't pay any attention to that. It was uh, out of necessity, I tell you what. Okay, here we are. Home sweet home. It's good to be back. Oh, look at that. It's starting to actually look like a place now. Uh, I'm thinking I might take this down, too, and uh, make a different area to do... Um, uh, to do our coal. I don't even think we're going to have to do charcoal for a while, to be honest. So this might come down soon. It's it's blocking the view of this. I got to work on this roof a little bit, too. Uh, what I do want to make is uh, some clay stuff. So uh, we have to find ourselves some glue, uh, <laughs> glue clay, uh, some blue clay as well. Well, looking at the time here, we still got lots of time, so I'm going to drop off uh, what we have of uh, materials, and we're going to go out and uh, get ourselves some blue clay here. Yes, I know. I need to organize a little better. We're getting there, though. We're uh, making rooms and stuff and, and prepping for it all, so uh, that's kind of cool. Oops, I meant to open that and then move it over. <laughs> we got some saltpeter going on there, some sphalerite over here. Uh, not much of it, but it's rich, so uh, that counts for something. And uh, we'll stash our food here. All right. I'll see you guys in uh, in a few moments. So I just realized, too, that I uh, brought my shears with me for a trip for no reason. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, hey, do, uh, do leaves grow back on trees? Oh, no, this must be new tree growth. That's what that is. Uh, that would be cool, though, if the leaves grew back up on the trees. And then uh, you can come back through and harvest them again. Actually, that would be uh, very handy. There we go. Okay, so let's look on my map here. I do believe uh, this is fire clay. Uh, that is fire clay, but that up there is blue clay. I want to save the fire clay because we need that to make glass. Uh, so let's go. We're right by it last time too. Is there any blue clay that's closer? Yes, there is. There's a whole field of it right over here. That's real easy to get to. All right, there we go. So I dug out two uh, flint shovels worth of clay here. Let's take a look. We got one, two, three, four, five and a half stacks of uh, blue clay. So that should be good enough. Uh, we're going to run back home here and uh, I'm going to cut out some uh, blue tiles and we're going to check out what the blue roof looks like. Uh, I think it'll look a lot better. So making these tiles is actually rather easy here. We'll go and uh, select the tiles. So you see this at first, it's a little bit of cross side. I like to go with um, uh, the three by three here. Now you can hold alt, or I'm sorry, uh, yes, alt, and it'll actually stop your head from swaying here. Now I'm really trying to get used to this. I'm not gonna lie, it's not really my favorite, but um, I can see where it comes in really, really handy. So I'd like to go uh, three down this aisle here. 
switch out from the three, go by one by one, and then just hack them out. It's a lot easier than trying to like fill them in all individually. Uh, just take out the excess in the end because you need to anyway in the middle. So uh, these are actually really, really easy to whip out. I do have some being uh, dried in the fire right now. Uh, let's actually see if those are done. Oh, wow. Uh, what do these need to be done? 700 degrees and the fire is 700 degrees. Oh, 850 degrees for baking these. Damn, guys. I uh, I pulled a stupid over here. So let's go and uh, grab charcoal. Thought I saw an enemy standing over there. And uh, get this lit up properly. Wow, okay. So uh, charcoal to uh, do the uh, blue clay shingles. Noted. Ah, there we go, and you can see the shingle actually. Oh, check that out. It, it changes color and stuff. That's pretty damn cool. So this stuff fascinates me. I really, really want to learn how to do this stuff in real life. Now, uh, I'm learning woodworking right now. I'm learning woodcraft, milling. Uh, I've milled my own um, slabs, uh, chopped down the tree, milled my own slabs. Uh, I'm dry. I have a kiln, so I'm, I've learned how to dry that stuff. And uh, now I'm learning how to process it and make uh, some nice stuff too. So I've been buying tools up and stuff like crazy, investing in that. Because uh, I want to buy land and move out onto that land. That's where I want to retire. I don't want to retire in a retirement home. If I'm going to die, it may be, it may as well be because I wandered into the bush uh, high and 90 years old when I shouldn't have. You know what I mean? Instead of like in a tiny little cell in a nursing home all by myself. Um, or, you know, with a significant other that possibly doesn't remember you. So uh, that's where I think I would like to uh, retire my life. So uh, let's take a look at these, uh, these shingle blocks here. These shingles actually take a... Take a little while to uh, to get going here. We'll drop some more in there. Can we drop 24 in on top of them? Oh, we can. Oh, did that cancel? Oh, that sucks. I actually canceled the uh, the current one in the queue. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. There we go. I learned it so you guys didn't have to. But uh, let's look up the uh, the blue shingle block here. Um, oh, these are nice too. These uh, these blue uh, clay bricks. Damn, they look so nice. Uh, so we got the blue shingle stairs. I think that's what we're going to go with for the block. So for each stair, uh, we're going to need three blue shingles. So I think we got, yeah, we got four done now. We can definitely take that. So, uh, heavy on the charcoal though. It, it really costs on the charcoal. I'll, I'll mention that. Oh, and you get two out of the deal. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, let's go actually throw these on top of our build here. I might just make us, uh, some temporary stairs. Okay, so we're going to put them down, I think, uh, facing the back of there. Oh, yeah, they don't really look blue, to be honest, but they're kind of, they're gray. So let's take a step back. Oh, I like that, the different shade of gray on top like that. Like, it's, I guess, maybe we'll wait until we can see it in the light. Uh, but I really do like those. So this isn't too bad, I think, to cook up. You get two per three, so uh, that's not so bad. So there we go. So that's basically what our roof is going to look like for now until we can do some uh, fancier stuff. So it's just some basic stuff, some stairs on the side here. We'll bring it up, meld it into there. Um, I think it'll actually look rather nice. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. We're finally making some progress here in the game. Got to balance out a little building, a little fun with uh, a little bit of work too. You know what I mean? You can't be all work and uh, no play either. That's, that's no fun. Well, guys, unfortunately, once again, I've run out of time for this episode. It kind of feels like this is going to be a little bit of a shorter one for you guys. If it is, I do apologize. Uh, but the game does uh, tend to get a little bit grindy. So as we get into the bigger grinds and bigger builds, uh, I think that's going to end up happening a little more often, unfortunately. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more, subscribe. And of course, guys, stay classy and always back up them game saves. Peace out. No matter what you people say, I'm gonna do my thing my way. No matter what you people do, I'm gonna do my thing much better than you. No matter what you say or do, oh boy, you're out of luck. It's gonna roll right off of me like water off the back of a duck.
Good boy.